why do you guys keep like really why is that one of the most commonly asked for videos is hug bees hello youtube friends today i'm reacting to a hug bees how it's made jelly beans video because y'all apparently like torturing me i recognize the name at this point and um y'all can't get me but here we are i'm gonna react so the jelly bean is a colorful treat but unfortunately no one is exactly sure when the jelly bean was invented and how it's believed that the jelly center dates back to biblical i mean don't we though Yeah, I didn't actually expect that to be true. I feel like now I'm overanalyzing everything this guy says. But that's actually true. We don't know when jelly beans were actually invented. Because they are... They're a confection that's very similar to other candies. And essentially, we know that somebody wanted to... I, I think it was William Shaft. He wanted to provide them as a gift to soldiers in the Civil War. So he tried to make jellies that were small and more portable. Um, and there he kind of got something like jelly beans. I don't know that they would be a lot like what we have in jelly beans today, um, or if they were slightly modified as well. But jelly beans are a lot like other candies so it's hard to say when they specifically were invented just like i wouldn't know when <laughs> most other candies were invented but fun fact they did exist as late back as the american civil war times as a candy called turkish delight many centuries later the outer shell was added thus making jelly beans we know today Jelly beans come in a large variety of colors, even though they only come in one flavor. To make jelly beans, liquid is heated in a large kettle. Okay, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, I am not a fan of jelly beans. They do come in different colors. I guess there's like the Harry Potter version, which definitely comes in different flavors. And there are some brands that I feel like do better at flavors than others, but... For the most part, the flavor is, sorry if you like jelly beans, but I think the flavor is black. And I guess, you know, my husband's a fan of the Starburst jelly beans. Let me know if you like jelly beans in the comments below and what your favorite brand is, because maybe I've just had bad jelly beans. 147 degrees Fahrenheit. Solids are then mixed into the liquid as an agitator blends it all together. Meanwhile, at a local cocaine production plant, things are going great. You guys just had to throw in the cocaine thing again, didn't you? Thought I didn't catch it last time, cause I didn't. But, <laughs> you guys, man, whatever. Y'all know he's just pulling my legs at this point. This massive amount of Colombian nose candy is worth up to $400,000. Normally, the cocaine would be scraped off the machinery, but this cartel is so ludicrously wealthy and powerful that they have completely stopped giving a shit. In a plot twist you didn't see coming. Okay, but also plot twist I didn't see coming is that he started off this video with a lot of, le well, I felt like more legitimate things. So I was bracing myself and didn't see uh, how hard he would slam into uh, illegitimate things. Molds are pressed into the cocaine to be filled with liquid sugar, which will form the jelly beans. Jelly Belly, the most popular brand of jelly beans, are known for their vast array of narcotics connections. The jelly bean centers are then moved to a drying room to cool and harden for 24 hours. Notice how some of the cocaine spills into the batch, adding to the jelly bean. 
Is he just gonna keep calling it cocaine this whole time? Probably. But okay, this is actually pretty cool to see. And really weird. It's addictive quality. Is anybody addicted to jelly beans? I'm sorry if you like them, but I thought they were a seasonal candy for a reason. Arms flip the trays into a drum that will separate them. Half of them will continue into the candy factory, while the other half will wind up on the streets of Southside Chicago. I don't know if that's supposed to mean something about Chicago. Dry jelly bean centers then tumble into a wire mesh conveyor. Notice their clear white color, a byproduct of their production being so closely tied to stimulants. The jelly beans then ride through a sugar vapor condenser and into a sugar drum. The drum tosses the beans in sugar until they eventually become 99% sugar and 1% bean. Oh my gosh. Okay. So basically what's actually happening here is while the jelly is on the inside, they have to coat it with that sugar on the outside. That way you've got that harder shell. This way you don't have jelly mush in a bag of jelly beans. Um, that all just clumps together and it makes it more heat resistant. So more shelf stable. This helps you actually have separate individual cute little beans in your bag of jelly beans instead of a giant clump of messy, mushy, sugary goop. In another part of the factory, Liquid returns. And this time he's not alone. Joined by anti-hero Blue Liquid. <laughs> and with a little help from his sidekick, Wage Slave, Liquid tries to stop the growing drug problem directly Wage at its source. Slave. Oh my goodness. Obviously, just adding some After color the beans dye are thwarted, now. The literal fourth gigantic helping of sugar is added to the batch. But don't celebrate too quickly, because then the nefarious supervillain Red Liquid joins the party. And Red Liquid's superpower? Racism. Then a little wax is added, because most people hate when things taste good. The wax coats the candies to make 90% of this process pointless. Well, they gotta keep the color in somehow, since obviously it wasn't in the center of the bean. Then the jelly beans stop spinning and air dry. I mean, technically, the if the drum beans is spin for too long, they may turn purple, dry. indicating they have become spoiled and poisonous. Oh Do not gosh. eat purple jelly beans. And finally, as all the jelly beans mix together and move to the packaging area, we here at How It's Made would like to apologize for doing an episode on jelly beans. We all know they're disgusting and one of the worst candies ever made but we felt obligated in our educational duties to show you where these vile hellspawn came from. We apologize to anyone offended by the fact they had to learn about jelly beans. And if you enjoy eating or talking about jelly beans, please consult professional counseling. There are people who can help. It gets better. <laughs> oh, okay, I appreciated that extra. As a fellow human who doesn't enjoy jelly beans, but anyway, hope you all enjoyed me being tortured again. Let me know in the comments below. I don't even know if I should ask you guys to recommend new videos. Come on. Anyway, if you enjoyed me being tortured, please smash the like button to help the algorithm. And I'll see you guys next time.